Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. Once the nephew of Umm al Mu'minin, Aisha radiallahu anha, entered the room while her Aisha radiallahu anha was praying salah. And I want you to know the reaction of the nephew when he witnessed his aunt praying to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala during the day. He says, Dakhaltu ala Aisha radiallahu anha. فَوَجَدْتُهَا قَائِمَةً تُصَلِّي I entered her room and she was praying salah, in the early morning salah. And she was repeating a verse that I secretly heard where Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, Surah Tur, verse number 17, فَمَنَّ اللَّهُ عَلَيْنَا وَوَقَانَا عَذَابَ السَّمُونَ Where the people in Jannah will be having a discourse and this is what they will say. That Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala was kind and he showered his favor upon us and he has saved us from the punishment which is Samum, which is the name of Jahannam, burning, scorching heat of Jahannam. And he says that I heard her praying and she was reciting this ayah, فَجَعَلَتْ تُكَرِّرُهَا وَتَدْمَعُ عَيْنَيْهَا She was reading this verse over and over and over and while she was reciting this verse, she was crying. I said I wanted to speak to her, but this, this looks like it's going to be a long prayer for her. So I got up and I left. This is Urwa bin Zubair, the, the son of Asma, the sister, Asma radiallahu anha, the sister of Aisha radiallahu anha. And the son, he's also the son of Zubair. He goes, radiallahu anha, he goes to the store, he says, the habtu al-suq, I went to the market. I had to take care of some chores. And then I came back after like hours, almost midday. And I found her standing there praying, reciting the same exact verse. فَمَنَّ اللَّهُ عَلَيْنَا وَوَقَانَ عَذَابَ السَّمُونَ Allah has showered His mercy upon us and He has saved us from the fire of Jahannam. This is a very interesting verse. Like what kept her standing there praying over and over and reciting this verse? When the people of Jannah are in Jannah, they're going to start to ask each other questions. And there is a lot of conversations that happen in Jannah. It's an interesting angle to, uh, to look at the Qur'an from the angle of the dialogue of the people of Jannah. And then there's a dialogue that Allah speaks about of the people of hell. This, this requires another series on its own, inshallah, one day. Um, well, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, وَأَقْبَلَ بَعْضُهُمْ عَلَىٰ بَعْضٍ يَتَسَاءَلُونَ When the people of Jannah will be in Jannah, they'll start asking each other, like, how? And the Prophet ﷺ says, إِذَا دَخَلَ أَهْلُ الْجَنَّةِ الْجَنَّةِ When the people of Jannah enter into Jannah, they will start to speak to each other. They go, where is my brothers? Where are my friends? And then they will come and they will sit face to face. Yet, you know, uh, they, will, they will be right in front of each other. And they will ask, Do you know, لِأَيِّ يَوْمٍ غَفَرَ اللَّهُ لَنَا Do you know what day Allah forgave us? They will start to remember the days that we're doing things for the sake of Allah. And the people of Jannah are going to recognize and reflect over the moments in the times that they were doing good for the sake of Allah, and they're going to say, "Qufirna yoma kada wa kada." We were forgiven on that day because we did such an act. Meaning, the people of Jannah, while they're in Jannah, they will acknowledge the moment in their life that gave them complete salvation. Unbelievable! They will be in Jannah. It's not like Jannah is another world that we will forget this dunya. Like people think like, maybe we're going to go to Jannah and we're going to forget about this dunya. No, no, no. There's certain things I want to forget about this dunya. But of course, if I'm in Jannah, I want to know how I got there. Imagine recognizing that one good deed that got you there. So, أَقْبَلَ بَعْضُمْ عَلَىٰ بَعْضٍ قَالُوا إِنَّا كُنَّا قَبْلُ فِي أَهْلِنَا مُشْفِقِينَ They will say, while we were in this dunya, we were fearful. We were mindful of this final day this hour that was going to approach and we're going to stand in front of Allah. We were with our families, but at the same time, we were cautious of what we were doing because we were accountable. We didn't go to Jannah because we were righteous. We are in Jannah because Allah has favored us. SubhanAllah. Even when they're in Jannah, they're not acknowledging their acts of worship, but they're basically saying, we were mindful in the dunya and ultimately it was Allah's mercy that brought us to Jannah. And they also say that we used to pray to Allah for this. Oh Allah, please. Oh Allah, save us from fire of hell. 
Oh Allah, save us from the fire of hell. Someone that says that three times. The Prophet said in hadith in Tirmidhi, Man stajara min al thalatha marrat. Anyone that seeks refuge from the fire of Jahannam three times. Jahannam, the fire of hell itself says to Allah, please forgive this person and grant this person Jannah. May Allah grant us that. Repeat after me, brothers and sisters. Allahumma ajirna min al nar. Allahumma ajirna min al nar. Allahumma ajirna min al nar. Ameen ya Rabbil Alameen. We ask Allah protection from the fire of Jahannam. So when you're in this paradise, they're going to say, Inna kunna min qablu nad'u. We used to pray to Allah to be in this beautiful paradise. We heard about it, now we're here. Inna hu huwa al barru rahim. Again, referencing Allah's mercy and His kindness. That is the paradise and that is the ayah. That is that one ayah that kept our mother Aisha radiallahu anha standing all morning. Hours went by. فَمَنَّ اللَّهُ عَلَيْنَا It's a favor, it's the favor of Allah that we made it into Jannah. May Allah grant us that. May Allah grant us the ability to connect with the Qur'an where sometimes we sacrifice our mornings, sometimes we sacrifice our sleep, sometimes we reflect, sometimes we recline and reflect, sometimes we walk and reflect. But having this impact with the Qur'an and ha- allowing the Qur'an to have impact on your life, hopefully that will make us stand and worship Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in this dunya and enjoy paradise in the company of the righteous like Aisha radiallahu anha.